Hey guys, this is Delaney. I'm here with another hair tutorial. Um, this one I'm going to call the back and forth fishtail braid. Now if you haven't seen my other two videos on the fishtail braid and the inverted fishtail braid, um, I would highly suggest you see those, simply because I'm going to go a lot quicker on showing you this. And um, also this video is um, something kind of new. I actually kind of th thought of this when I was thinking around with someone else's hair, and it actually turned out quite well. Um, so I'm going to be using both techniques um, found in the fishtail braid videos. So if you haven't seen those, I highly su suggest you watch those. And I'm just going to get started. So like any fishtail braid, that's two stranded at least, um, you just divide it into two strands, like I said. And I'm going to start out with the um, normal fishtail. So I'm just going to grab a piece, like so, and move it over to the other side over top. If you remember from the other two videos, the difference between the two fishtails is whether they go on top or bottom. So, just going to do that. Now, again, this is why I suggest the videos. I'm going to go a lot quicker. You should know how to do a normal fishtail by now. Or at least have a basic understanding of so. And you're going to be surprised how easy this is, but it has a very cool effect to it. I'm going to lean in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Now, it doesn't show up very well, but I think you can at least there. It's just that a little bit better. You can see the effect it's having. I'm going to go down a little bit further on a normal fishtail. And again, um, remember, I don't know if you remember in the last video, but what I'm doing is I'm pushing my fingers through and it saves me a lot of time instead of like, and you don't pick up as many hairs that you don't want. So, I think that's about good. Now the only different, the only thing that I'm going to do is on my next one. So just, and it's very easy to remember which strand, it's the one that's loose still. Um, so. On the other side, I'm going to take it and I'm going to go underneath and begin an inverted fishtail. So that the so basically it's pointing up. Now again, like an inverted fishtail, it does take quite a while to show up, but it does have a very cool effect. I don't know if you can see here. Um, still looks like it's going down a little bit. Let me keep going. Now while I'm doing this, I'm going to talk to you. I don't know if you've seen my uh, fast food videos, but, and again, I slip accents a lot if you haven't noticed. Um, there we go. It's starting to show up a little bit. Just a little bit. There. Also, it's just an important thing to pay attention to when it's loose. Um, just watch what you're doing at first, at least. I mean, I usually do my hair without a mirror because it's always behind me. When I do hairstyles, you'll see that most of them are focused. The cool part is always in the back. Um, so, as you can see, right here, Right where this kind of, it kind of pinches a little bit, it goes from up to or from down to up, and then I think it's about the same length. So I'm going to switch back over, and then you just so I just move this here to this side. There's my last strand. So I'm going to lean up a little bit. This I'm just going to go over top again. Now, so obviously I made the switch twice. And it's really kind of cool because it it's still a fishtail braid. It holds the same quality as a fishtail braid. Um, it's just different. It's a little. It makes it look a little more complicated. It's a good braid, good way to fr your, excuse me trip your friends out who uh, don't know how to fishtail braid anyways, and they see that and they're they're like, what? You know, it's pointing up, then it's pointing down. Oh my gosh. Um, 
again, you just keep fishtailing. You can switch back and forth as many times as you want. I would not do um, very short segments though because you don't, fishtails take a little bit of length to show up anyways. And um, I mean you can, but it just depends on your hair and the effect you want to have also on how thick it is. Um, whatever you're braiding with, if it's your whole head, don't, I would only switch once at most. Just because, well if you're, if it's about my length, I would only switch once. Um, just because you want um, the thicker the thick, um, thicker the bit of hair that you're braiding, the less rounds is what I'm going to call what I always call them. You're going to get in any braid. So you know that's why I don't rope braid my hair, for example, because by the time it loosens up, it's basically like twisted once or twice, and I have longer hair. I also have thick hair, which is why. So I'm going to keep. Clean up a little bit more. Um, yeah, my insecure smile. That's what I'll just call it. Um, my mom and I both do that a lot. We don't know how to smile. Uh, any advice on that would be great. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I'm not going to ban that because I don't plan on keeping that for the day. And it, again, a friendly reminder that I only do this. So I can show you guys. Also, um, it helps you stick out. Um, it helps it stick, separates it from the rest of the hair, so you're not picking it up. Now, hopefully, I will get to some French braids. I just need to figure out how to do that on a webcam, and I'll probably be using a couple models um, for that. Just because when you first learn, I it's hard to show you. Um, it's definitely hard to show you from me doing it in the back. Um, I can explain it all I want, but I, I think a lot of people need a physical representation. I know I do. So this is the inverted fishtail, at least most of it. It gets, I didn't go all the way down. Um, or the flip-flop fishtail. So it's down, up, and then down. And it's kind of cool. It's just a different technique. I mean, this is not, I wouldn't just do my hair like this well, actually, a fishtail I would. Um, I would just do my hair like this if it was a very what, rush day. Um, I I don't know. I personally believe that if you can do a little bit more complicated things with your hair, then I suggest you do it. Also, I'm a weirdo, and I think that if I keep braiding my hair, it'll wave. Because um, I love curly hair, but I'm too lazy to do it. So. I nearly spend 45 minutes every Sunday doing my hair. Now, that's the other thing too. Um, as soon as I get done with these technique videos, I'm going to start showing you style videos. Um, they're cool. I I just mentioned I spend 45 minutes on my hair every Sunday because Sundays to me are the dress up days because uh, I go to church. But um, so I spend a while and I like to. I like to go all out. Um, I usually have part of my hair down and it's going to be a lot of half up, half down styles, but not just not just this in a ponytail. Never that. It's usually six to seven rope braids with a few four strand braids. And I, I go all out. So I'm going to start showing you those videos after I get through the technique videos and maybe get hopefully get a better setup here. I love my computer but it does not love me. Um, also, feel free to comment. I know I get a little, I'm talking too much, so I'll leave that for you. And um, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, I'm a weirdo and I actually like talking to people. I don't know. Even though I can, even though I'm like the epitome of a nerd speaking English. Woohoo! Look what I got in the mail today. So, enjoy this video, um, and again, please subscribe. Thanks.